Hello, today's video is to demonstrate a 1969, I believe, <clears throat> Bogan Challenger CHB50 head. Uh, this has been converted into a guitar. Uh, this is the look at the schematic, and uh, here's a brief overview of what was done to it. Uh, please excuse this shaky video. One of these days I will invest in a, in a proper tripod. Uh, as you can see here, the output tubes on this schematic are 7868. Uh, well, the ones in the actual amp itself are uh, 6L6 GCs. Um, I haven't compared to the 7868, so I don't know what, what effect that has on the output. I'm assuming the 6L6s are slightly uh, greater output. Um, but anyway, it does have 6L6s, the example that I have, so that's different. Uh, the inputs uh, here, uh, there are two inputs on this amp. Um, there is a, a input one, microphone input one, an input two. Actually, there's there's four inputs, but uh, I'll get to that in a moment. The auxiliary inputs are, they go directly uh, past the first uh, gain stage here. So they have one less gain stage than uh, these two inputs. So if you go into the auxiliary uh, one or two, you want to make sure that you have something that is preamped. Otherwise, you are bypassing uh, the first gain stage. That's why you don't ever want to convert one of these and just go to the uh, go to this RCA hookup that is labeled auxiliary one or two because you're actually you're bypassing some some gain that you should be using uh, if you're going to use guitar. Uh, but at any rate, uh, this first jack um, rather than the old style Amphenol uh, jack, um, I've converted that obviously to a, a quarter inch like you would use for a guitar and the imp and the inputs are tied together internally uh, with a jumper wire. What that allows you to do is uh, with by going into one input your guitar is actually going through both of these halves of this uh, 6EU7 tube. Um, that allows you to dial in a little bit more gain before you get to this stage. Now there was a master volume uh, at this point. Uh, the, this was all eliminated um, and the master volume has been moved uh, over here just before uh, the phase inverter, uh, which seemed like a pretty good spot for it. Um, so now you've got master volume after these two additional gain stages instead of here, which is really too early. Um, so that was moved. Uh, also added uh, bypass caps to these two tubes. Um, added in this position, added a 50 microfarad. In uh, this position, added a 10 microfarad. And really, just about any um, bypass cap on these tubes will will beef up the uh, low frequencies. More more of the highs will get bled off to ground, and and you actually end up end up with a beefier tone. And actually, I, I think it's actually more more output as well when you do that. If you were to try this. Uh, with and without a, a bypass cap, you would notice a huge difference uh, in the bass response. Um, so yeah, that's essentially what was done. Not not that difficult to convert one of these into something that's really, really nice sounding and really uh, usable for guitar. Again, you want to make sure you move this master. That was uh, That was one of the keys, moving that master volume over to here. And essentially, all you have to do is just move your wires to, to this and jump them into that point. So, uh, and then you know, tying the inputs together while not necessary is is nice because you it allows you to not only dial in uh, this half of the six EU seven, uh, but you can dial in this half as well, and they will both be running in parallel then and mixed together again at this point. Um, another. Another benefit of doing this is on your channel too. You actually have a switch um, that was originally for uh, magnetic phono cartridges, and uh, and what that does is it uh, it actually sends it through different different resistors, uh, depending on whether you have the switch switched or not, um, and that can change the the tone as well. So. That's another cool thing that you might consider doing if you if you get one of these. But um, yeah, let's let's check out some of the some of the tones of the amp. Before going into uh, some of the tones of the amp, I uh, wanted to show uh, what was done physically to the back of the amp and what the back of the amp looks like. 
Um, as you can see here, <clears throat> here is the here are the selections um, where you used to make your uh, speaker hookups. Uh, these are these are are actually jacks for. Um, they're a different kind of jack that was, I think, proprietary uh, to Bogan that was used with some of their speakers. But this is where most people would have done permanent installations uh, for PAs or uh, to hook up your um, uh, your various values of uh, speaker impedances. Um, I've let, I've taken all the other screws out because those aren't going to be used uh, with the way that this is hooked up now. <clears throat> this speaker jack, uh, drill this hole for this quarter inch speaker jack. And uh, this is now uh, just a, a simple selector for the impedance. Uh, so you can use uh, 4, 8, or 16 ohm uh, with this. It has, that, um, has those selections in the output transformer. Um, replace the three-prong uh, power cord uh, over on this side. <clears throat> not sure what these are. I'd have to look at the, uh, at the manual again. But this is, this is not something... Uh, you'll probably ever use in modern times. Um, this, these here are the inputs for <clears throat> the auxiliaries uh, one and two. Uh, this is the magnetic uh, input um, and here is the switch that I was talking about earlier. The switch is uh, from magnetic to microphone. Now the way this is hooked up you can uh, still use channel two uh, re even plugged into this so this allows you to select a uh, channel two will give you a different uh, quality of tone depending on where you have that so um, here was the old Amphenol connection for channel 2 which will not be used and here's the connection uh, that was installed uh, for the input into the uh, channel 1 um, inside here's your 6EU7 all the way on this this end uh, 12AX7 you have a 6C4 for uh, phase inversion and then back here of course you got the big uh, glass bottle 6L6s. Uh, so yeah, let's check out some of the some of the tones of the amp. Um, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'll be using a, a 52 reissue Telecaster. <laughs> That is with the, the microphone volume below halfway. Master volume is a little bit above. And the more you crank the master volume, obviously the more headroom you're going to get. So you can, you can actually turn your uh, mic, your preamp volume down a little more and, and stay, stay a little cleaner.
Thank <laughs> you.